Well, I guess my question is, would you do 70 miles an hour on this? Uh, you got a 10 horsepower, and what I did was we got a centrifugal clutch and it's belt drive. Uh, kind of interesting. This guy hasn't been working in about two years. I, I've taken the fuel tank off it. I, I rode it once or twice. Uh, the problem is with this setup, uh, it's like riding a 10 speed, trying to take off in 10th gear. It's so tall. Uh, that clutch doesn't lock up till you're probably doing almost 20 miles an hour. Um, I had my dad clocked me on his motorcycle. Uh, got up to about 68 miles an hour, and uh, he got out of it because we were starting to hit some curves, and he said I stutter was still pulling away pretty good from him, so it does at least 70. Um, it's just a part storage machine, as you can see right now. Uh, when we built it, uh, the front end was so light, um, I ended up putting, as you can see, wider tires on the front. Uh, what I did basically, I went down to the aluminum, uh, went down to the steel place and got a four inch chunk of aluminum and uh, I think it was about eight inches long. I think I cut it in half. We made wheel spacers out of aluminum and uh, widened the wheels and figured the weight would help because uh, it plowed so bad. It was just, it was really bad. I mean, those brakes at 70 miles an hour, uh, you might as well just kind of forget it. But, um, you know, I got it running direct throttle, no, no governor. Um, I don't know, I, from what I understand, I, I don't really want to put a lot of money in it, I don't think. Uh, I mean, a torque converter would be nice, but uh, if I could maybe possibly, I'm thinking, this is a 10 horse, I could scare up a, I've got a 16 horse V-twin and an 18, a Vanguard. Um, my question is, couldn't I use this clutch and run the, uh, use this clutch and run it into a, like a Peerless 700, and then do the chain drive out of that, and I could put a live axle in it, then I could have real brakes, um, you know, and basically I'd have like a Peerless 700 shifter cart type of a thing, uh, and I wouldn't really even have to have, uh, you don't even have a clutch then, basically, I guess you just lift and shift to the next gear, uh, I thought that'd be kind of cool, but, I mean, this, this, this wreck does 70 miles an hour, and, uh, it's really not too bad, it's pretty stable, um, but I guess maybe if I had a gearbox on it, it would do that easily, be able to take off easily, be able to be be able to ride it a lot easier, um, you know, and even run it at slower speeds. Because right now the clutch doesn't, uh, you, you don't engage that clutch until it's doing about 20. And I almost have to push it a few miles an hour and I hop on it and to get it going. And you better be real gentle on it, trying to get it up to about 20. Because if not, you can you can heat that clutch up real fast. And, but uh, I don't know, I, if I could find some stuff to do it, I don't know if anybody thinks it'd be kind of a neat machine, maybe make it like a Roadrunner for nighttime uh, escapades and stuff like that. Maybe uh, do 85 or 90? I don't know. Might be fun.